Yo, what it do? It's your boy, the UAMC. Coming at y'all one more again, dropping some knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And what I'm going to talk about today is one of the hottest topics in the last few weeks or so, and that's Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. And just to remind everyone, you have Robert Kennedy Jr., Cornel West, and Jill Stein. Kamala and Donald are not the only two people running for president, and people need to stop acting like that. I get it, people want to put their vote where it counts. You know, um, I used to feel like that myself too. At this time though, in stage in my voting life, you know, I voted since I was 18, voted Democrat since I was 18. I've been, a, I've been an independent since last year. I had to switch that shit up, man, because I recognize, you know, the Democrats actually, they, they've been taking our vote for granted forever. You know, they've been taking our vote for granted forever. And it's, you know, at, at some point in time, we got to be able to stand up and show that, like, we're not feeling that, man. We got to make some type of protest in order to do that. We don't lobby like other groups do. We don't, we don't give hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars to, to political candidates to steer their, their votes and decisions for us. All we got is our voting power, you know? And just to, sec, just to tap this up in there, that's one reason why we don't get a lot of the shit that we demand. We, we you know, bullshit, bullshit walk, money talk. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're pleading a moral argument to an ill moral system. They could give a fuck. You know, how sorry you think you're making them feel. Where the money at? You know, but right now all we got is voting power, so we got to use that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you can't just let anybody just take your vote for granted. Think they could, they talk about, they could scare you about the racism from the other party. You know, but if you really analyze, you know what I'm saying, uh, condescending white liberal racism, you'll see that, you know, it's the, they, you know, it, it, they just as racist, but it's different. You know, it's the difference between somebody um, having somebody falling into the mud and getting dirty, you know, or somebody, you know, uh, falling into um, um, a bunch of garbage out on the street and getting dirty. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you got dirt on you. It's just a different type of dirt. You know, the um, the thing is this, though, you got to look at the two major candidates, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump. Both we got we don't got some great choices both are not great choices you know um i most definitely would say kamala is smarter more intelligent she's most definitely smarter and more intelligent um the thing is you know kamala has done a lot of fucked up shit in her career you know she's you know she's locked up you know um a lot of black and brown people she's over sentence that means giving them um convictions with longer sentences than really the the crime calls for you know she's fought to keep people's evidence that would free them prove their innocence she's fought she's fought to keep that out from, from a court one dude to call love um i know he was able to fight and gain his freedom um maybe a couple of other people but i do know there's still people that are locked up one of death row because her uh public defender um you know um unit denied you know the public defender unit and when she was assistant i mean excuse me when she was attorney general you know they deny um, his legal team to present the evidence that would prove these persons innocent. So, you know, and I give a fuck if she was, you know, in the courtroom herself or she was up in some office somewhere, rubber stamping shit. That was her watch. That was her watch, you know. Now, we know what Donald Trump is all about. Like, you, you know what Donald Trump is all about, you know. We know Donald Trump, you know, um, has the same type of uh, uh, institutionalized, uh, culturally ingrained racism that uh, a lot of white conservatives got, you know. Um, but we got to be realistic about the threats that people are saying that he plans to carry out. I heard somebody say, oh, he's going to get rid of the 19th Amendment. You know, no president can just get rid of, a, of an amendment. That's impossible. So we got to be realistic about what we're scared about. You know, um, you know, I'm going to be putting some links up, like, to study both candidates and, and their policies. You know, when it comes to the Democrats, that green, that new green deal, 
bullshit. It's been co-opted by mega corporations for them just to milk the economy and a lot of that shit is worse for the environment than what we're doing already. You gotta study, you gotta study the real literature. You know, that whole the whole COVID debacle, you know, a lot of Democrats and left left wing liberal media are still lying to you about this. You know, man, serious fuck up. You know, that virus was created in a laboratory, gain of function research. You know, you could go Google uh, Fauci congressional hearings and you could watch it for yourself. You know, um, you know, you would hear about this whole gain of function thing that was going on. And, you know, it was illegal in America. This is why they took it, uh, alley it to China. That's how they, all that shit started. I could go deeper on that though. I'm just giving you bits and pieces. You know, Project 2025 most definitely some shit we need to keep our eye on most definitely but can they just implement that shit though right now no they can't they can't but we need to keep our eyes on it though you know can't nobody just come in and, and, and just ram all that shit down into law um like i said getting rid of amendments and all that but it is something to worry about something we most definitely need to look at and study you know like I tell a lot of people, I'm a registered independent. I voted Democrat all my life. When Trump won in 2016, I went out and protested, jamming up people that voted independent and voted for Trump. Uh, went right to the Twitter building, man, you know, protesting. That was uh, the Trump headquarters back in 2016, the Twitter building, you know, um, you know. But, you know, I learned a lot more. I had a lot more information. And so I have a, a more rounded uh, view of politics right now, you know. So, and I just want anybody listening to me to have that same rounded type of view that I got, you know. And especially when I'm talking to black people, because, like, yes, with our so-called allies, there's a lot of stuff that intersect, as they say, intersectionality. But we can't run to the finish line with them on all this shit, because a lot of shit that they advocate is just detrimental, harmful to us and our culture, you know, um, I mean, you know, you got Gavin Newsom already that took parental rights in California, your kid could be a whole nother human at school, and they will hide that from you, man, they'll keep that a secret, and the thing is, it's really, really, it's really, really weird and strange for someone to hide that from a parent, that's not right, you know, when it comes to an adult authority figure, hiding stuff from, um, from people like no that's not cool you know nobody is barbarians we love our kids we're gonna accept them for whatever they are you know you just don't really nearly hide that shit from a parent you know but you know it's a lot more man it's a lot lot more the um you know just 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 build on accurate information you know you want to look at information from independent media left and right wing media so you can get a full picture and, and try your best to erase your bias where i'm standing at man like you know I, like i said i'm a registered independent and honestly man i can't tell you right now how i'm feeling like is i'm you know i never vote for trump like you know, motherfuckers think i'm a trump uh, supporter that's bullshit i never vote for trump but you know um, I'm definitely vote independent, you know, um, maybe I vote for Kamala, I don't know, you know, it's a whole lot of more information, I gotta research myself, you know, um, but like, yo, that's all for now, man, we'll build more later, man, I could go in depth on a lot of shit, Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum, Hotel, peace.